I have a confession to make. I hate Markdown. Every time I see someone render their blog using Markdown, using MDX or Contentful, I just hate it. I'm a Markdown hater. I don't know why. I couldn't give you a technical reason as to why I don't use Markdown to render my blogs. I just don't like it. I prefer to use HTML. And looking around the interwebs and on X, there isn't really a clear standard way of how to render your blogs using HTML. And I made one for myself, and I would like to share this with you. So I have a GitHub repo in the description down below. Uh, this site will also be linked down below, html blograsmicxyz And I'm going to be sharing with you the standard I built for myself as to how I render blogs using HTML. So let's get straight to it. I'm going to be showing you the code. Now, there's a couple things that are going on here. First and foremost, I have a folder in my Next.js project. Let me zoom in right here. I have two folders and one file. I have articles, functions, and article.ts. Let's start with article.ts. Article.ts is an array of objects, and these objects essentially are your blog object, right? So you have the name, the description, the title, the slug, the created ad date, um, you have the link, you have the actual article, image, uh, the URL to the image, and keywords for SEO. So everything is pretty self-explanatory, but then I want to show you article right here. So you can see that I have two imports here. I import data fetching article, and then I import HTML article rendering. And these are from the articles folder. Right. So what we're going to do is we're going to go to the articles for folder. And yeah, we see these two files that I'm importing right here. Let's just click on HTML rendering TS. So this, ladies and gentlemen, is my article. I have my article in HTML. You have your H1, your P, your P tag. I'm pretty sure there's a couple of code tags as well. Look, you can see it H3 and all that type of stuff here. And I essentially assign this to a variable called HTML article underscore article underscore rendering, and I make this exportable. So you can see that all my articles are under all the HTML of the articles are under the folder articles, and each article is its own TypeScript file, right? It's its own type TypeScript file. And essentially what I do is in the article.ts file, I import these, right? So so far. That's what's going on. We do need some functions, though. We need to get the blog by slug. So being able to pull a specific blog by its slug, and then we need to get all the slugs, right? So how this works is get blog, uh, get dash blog dash slug. Essentially, you pass the slug, right? And then it literally just filters through the blogs. And what it does is it returns the slug that matches the blog. And then if you're wondering what this is right here, this is just blogs exported, right? So the blog object, oops, the blog object containing all the blog information. So this is sort of the setup I have. And when it comes to actually rendering the blogs, this is how it works. I'll go to my pages uh, file. And I have here blog card section. I'm just going to go into this component. And I have a simple map where I get blogs from article.ts, i.e. here, right? And I just map over it. And then I have this beautiful blog card, which I will show you. And I, I plan on sharing this soon. You see that gradient right there? Don't tell me that's not nice. But anyway, that's a different video. That's a different tutorial. So I have that blog card. And if I go into the blog card, there's just some animation stuff happening. So that's the block card right there. Now, when I click on the block card, you see an href here, blog.link. And again, if I go to article TS, blog.link is here. So when I click here, I go to slash blog slash rendering dash blog dash HTML, which is this slug right here. So, so far, that makes sense, I hope. Now I'm going to click on blog, then slug, then page.tsx because this is where the articles are rendered. So we have our generate metadata and generate static param functions. We'll look at those in a second, but this is where your the main blog is. So I have export default async function blog. I get the params, which really all I'm looking for is the slug. And then what I do is I pass a uh, params.slug 
um, to get blogs and get blogs being this function. Now, pretty interesting. I awaited here, but I'm pretty sure I don't have to do that. And we're just going to test that. So I pass the slug to get blogs and then I get the response. And what I do with the response is very simple. I pass response dot zero dot article. So getting the first response because I'm getting an array and I pass that to react HTML parser. Now react HTML parser is a package that you're going to have to yarn add or PMPM install or NPM install. And basically what this what H react HTML parser does is it's parses through uh, whatever given data. And it is and what you the data you're going to pass it is going to be HTML. And then what it's going to do is it's going to use this transform node function to add styles to that HTML, right? And basically what happens is let me just give an example of let's say we have this article right here, I'm going to put this to the left. And then I'm going to put this, I just want the blog page, okay, this to the right. So Essentially, what I'm doing is I'm passing this HTML into the react HTML parser, it's going to parse through all the HTML. And then whatever styles have been set in transform node, it's going to apply these styles here. And the transform node function is pretty simple. All you have to do is if node dot type equals tag, and the node name is P, which is a P tag, you apply whatever styles you want. In this case, leading seven text small. And then I have some conditions here. If the node tag, if the node type is tag and the node name is a so link tag, then I add these styles here. And then for h1 for h2 for h3 for ul for ol for li for block quote for code for pre for pre like it gives me full functionality, sorry, not functionality to full control over the styling of my article. And I prefer it this way. So that's why if you see my article here, this is how it's rendered. This is the HTML being passed through react HTML parser, which then uses the transform node function to style it beautifully. And I have all this code on GitHub. And I, you know, explain it here pretty simply. All you need is a couple things. I have a content folder that essentially has my article.ts, my functions folder, which contains get all blog slugs and get blogs. And then I have a blog slash slug, basically where I'll be rendering each blog page, and then a component to show the car the blog card and the blog section on the site. And then content slash articles contains each article. And the way I have it is like I showed you guys before is each article is its own file, you can have one giant file with all the articles. I think for simplicity sake, it just makes it easier for me to have them in separate files, right. And then I basically run through all the stuff on GitHub. Uh, so check it out, star it, fork it, contribute to it, see if you can make it better. Now, let's say you don't want to have the, you know, HTML files uh, on your code base, right? This is why I built my CMS. So my CMS essentially does the same thing uses the same uh, standard. But instead of having your blog on your you know, in the articles folder, like the HTML in the articles folder, my CMS takes care of that for you. And all you have to do really is just call the API. So instead of, you know, these functions you have where you have get all slugs, get block slug, all those functions uh, will be replaced by these APIs. And that's why I built my CMS. So if I want something local, I'll use the standard. But if I want to use maybe a DB or something like that, or I want to build a full fledged application, and I need to use a database for some reason, I'll use my CMS. So that's pretty much it. Again, the link to the links to everything will be in the description down below. Let me know what you think. Am I a buffoon for wanting to use HTML to render blogs? Should I stick to markdown? What do you think of this? Let me know down below would love for you to contribute to this all the links will be in the description down below. But that's pretty much it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Make sure to like comment subscribe. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.